Hi everyone and welcome back to the Massman YouTube channel. In today's video I am going to be talking about short division and I am going to be showing you how to present your answer as a fraction or as a decimal. At the end of the video I would like you to comment down below and you tell me which you think is easier, showing your answer as a fraction or showing your answer as a decimal. And if you do find this video helpful then smash that like button down below. But let's learn it let's learn it now. So in front of me guys I have two questions. They're both exactly the same. I have 56 divided by 5. 56 divided by 5. In this top short division question I am going to be presenting my answer as a fraction and in this bottom question I'm going to be presenting my answer as a decimal. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go through the short division question. So five, how many fives are in five? There is one five in five and there are no remainders. How many fives in six? There is one five in six. And there is one remainder. Now, to work out the what the remainder is as a fraction, this is how we do it. This remainder goes at the top of the fraction and becomes the numerator, and then the number that you are dividing by goes at the bottom of the fraction and becomes the denominator. So can you see how 11 remainder 1 has now changed into 11 and 1 fifth? So whatever the remainder is, you put at the top of the fraction as the numerator, and then whatever the dividing number is, you put at the bottom as the denominator, and then that makes up your fraction. So. To work out your answer as a decimal, I'm going to just do the same steps. So, how many fives in five? There is one. How many fives in six? There is one. And there is remainder one again. But watch what I do this time. So, when you want to work out the decimal answer, First of all, you need to put two decimal points, okay? And I'm going to need to extend the line. Every single time you put a zero after the decimal point. And the remainder then goes next to the zero. So can you see how I have taken the remainder and added it to a zero? So this number is actually 10 now. And then all you do is say, how many fives are in 10? And there are two fives in 10. And there are no remainders. So the answer as a decimal is 11.2. I'm just going to show one more example now of dividing and showing your answer as a decimal because I'm going to show you an example that goes further than just one decimal place. So in this example, I am going to end up with an answer that has more than one decimal place. So how many sevens in seven? There's one. How many sevens in two? There are zero. But I have two remainder, so decimal point, decimal point, zero, and that two remainder now goes next to the zero. How many sevens in 20? There are two. Now this is what you need to do, you need to put another zero down. So how many sevens are in 20? Seven, 14, and there are six remainder. So that six goes next to another zero, and then you say, how many sevens in 60? 
Well, there are eight. And if I really wanted to, I could then continue because there are four remainder because seven times eight is 56. Okay, and I could keep going and going and going if I wanted to, but most teachers may just ask you, okay, just to go to two decimal places, and I'm going to stop here. Thanks again for watching today's video. I hope it has been useful for you, and uh, I hope to catch you in the next video.